Talking frog convinces his son to unalive his dad. This is needed. I agree. I think we could all use that emoji quite often. I just remembered that Ghostbusters began my hatred for bureaucrats and regulatory abuse. One point if you can say what is happening in this scene. Once seen, it cannot be unseen. Axel Rose. Betty Hill. You're welcome. If you understand the significance of this truck, your childhood was awesome. I feel sorry for people who've never tasted the chicken that came out of this. My mom has always been able to make the best fried chicken. My teenage daughter just came into the kitchen and said, I'm watching this TV show. It's like a teen drama, but it's set in the past. I asked her what it was called, and she said, Dawson's Creek. I've been alive a long time. See, even you millennials are getting old. Me, stands up really fast. My entire body, sometimes. Have you ever gone back to visit your old house or neighborhood just to take in the nostalgia and childhood memories? Not really. Don't really have anything that I want to look back to. With that said, there was one place that I went back to years later. The people that had bought the property from my dad were still living there. But a few years after that, the house suspiciously burnt down. Let's just say they bought a big motorhome after that. I agree. How about studios actually come out with new movies for a change? My dad finally realized it was time for him to get a tattoo. This is how it turned out. Well, I've certainly seen worse. At least this one works. Never judge a book by its cover. Except that one. Seriously, put it down. One point if you can name this movie. What people think growing up in the 80s was like. What it was actually like. Yes. That is absolutely true. In all the movies and things, you see stuff like the top image. I don't know if that's picking up on the mic, but my dog's dreaming. You okay, buddy? Was he dreaming? Yeah. Anyway. How many of you guys knew about this? When Crispin Glover was replaced by a lookalike in Back to the Future 2, the actor declined to reprise his role as the eccentric George McFly in sequels. Audiences were fooled into believing he had. I'd read about this before, and it was someone that summed it up pretty good. They got a replacement actor to play Crispin Glover playing George McFly. One point if you know the name of the actor that replaced Crispin Glover. How you left work Friday. How you show up Monday. 2024, and I'm still listening to music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. I admit there is some music I listen to from the 90s and 2000s, and even some newer music, but it's only select groups and bands or specific singers. In general, I think all the new music is pretty much garbage. And it's not just because it's new. A lot of the music sounds like crap, and most of the lyrics are either stupid or meaningless. Here's a question, everybody. What's the main reason that you like a song? Because of the music itself, or because of the lyrics? For me, most of the time, it's the lyrics. If the lyrics don't have meaning to me, then I usually just don't like the song. Ozzy Osbourne with Joan Jett and Leda Ford of The Runaways at the Chelsea Hotel in New York City during their 1976 world tour. Calm down, it's just a joke. I know most of you know that, but there's always those few. I asked him for a gift that lasts a lifetime. He bought me Big Red. I'm glad this is just a meme. Watch one movie that everyone should see at least once in their lifetime. I don't know. 
There's a lot of answers that could be given here. But to just pick one, with the days that we're in right now, I guess I'd go with Red Dawn. Even the newer one wasn't too bad. Late millennials and the generations that followed learning about Chad Generation X. How can they eat gluten? Why aren't they offended by everything? Why is their music so good? How can they distinguish between a man and a woman? You know, just the fact that this is a meme just shows how sad today's society is. We didn't have Uber Eats or DoorDash in the 80s and 90s. We had the Swans ice cream trucks. That's true. Although, I've never lived in a place that Uber Eats or DoorDash ever delivered to. I'm way too far away from the city. And that's just how I like it. When you saw this, you knew it was gonna get real. Today's kids will never know how it all started. Whose poster was on your bedroom wall when you were a teenager? When I was a teenager, we lived in a small RV. Didn't have any room to put anything on the walls there. A couple years later, we had a concrete block building. And you couldn't hang anything on the walls there unless you wanted to drill and put an anchor in. When I hear a Millie Vanilli song, I don't sing it. I just move my lips. They would have wanted it that way. Footloose 40th Anniversary, remembering the iconic theme song and soundtrack. Footloose is ranked as one of the best 80s movies and is responsible for the amazing theme song that spans generations. I found this in a 1998 Chevy Express road track. This is for you millennials. This is back in the early 2000s. I built a little wooden console in our van for a PlayStation 2 and a small TV. It was right before we went on a very long road trip. Not a cell phone in sight. Just kids living in the moment. Yeah, not really. How many of you had this CD rack? I had one that was identical to this. Write a movie quote that gives away the film without saying the title. Go. Gigawatts of I just read this morning someone mentioned in the comments about the Snoopy snow cone machines. I don't really remember these, but there's quite a few pictures of them. And there's even some that's still for sale. I'm not sure if this particular one here is a remake or one of the originals. Does anyone remember this delicious gum? It lasted just about as long as Zebra Stripe. Great for 30 seconds and then you spit it out. Why was that a thing with gums back in? Any of it that was any good, that's, that's pretty much the limit of how long it lasted. Some of them didn't last that long. Control to Major Tom. Only some people will get this. I'd take 200 commercials of this guy in Spanish over one second of Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. I agree. One point if you know what commercials this is from. Drop a line from the movie Coming to America. My son works. What 80s song are they singing? I can't really think of a song that would be particularly fitting for this scenario. I don't know who made this, but that's just funny. In my opinion, soda tasted better in glass bottles. That's because the plastic wasn't leaching chemicals into it. And it was made of real sugar, and not high fructose corn syrup, and the other list of ingredients that you can't even pronounce. Great vest, bro. Who were these? They were like walking around on a piece of plywood. Exercise sandals? I don't remember those at all.
My kids, how cool were you in school? Me, this cool. Yeah, I, I don't know why this became a thing. It's like the opposite end of the spectrum from bell bottoms. I wonder how many billion it is now. Or are they closer to the national debt now? If you know who this is, we can be friends. One point if you know. Watches fast food documentary. I'm never eating fast food again. Two hours later. I very rarely ever eat a McDonald's for a long time now. One minute you're young, then the next you're falling asleep like this at 6.30 p.m. Sadly, pretty much true. I can't wait until I'm grown. Was the dumbest thing I ever said. What is Generation Jones? The generation after baby boomers and before Generation X. If these are the examples, looks like one of the worst generations. I'm this old. Select all the squares that match the label, Sarah Connor. Good try, AI. I'm not going to help you recognize the mother of the rebel resistance. If I was the guy making these capture things, I'd be making things like this. Brave Little Toaster is one of the best kids movies ever and most people seem unaware it exists. Yeah, I think I was toward the late 80s. A friendly reminder that when you used to rent videos from us, we didn't care who you shared it with, as long as you returned it on time. I think it's funny when these companies have tweets that goes back and forth, like Wendy's and Chick-fil-A. Okay, I'm gonna show this slide, but first, I need a promise from you guys. If you follow the instructions given on this slide, you're making a promise that after you're done, you'll come back and finish watching the video. Okay? Alright, here we go. Go to Google and search for O'Reilly Auto Parts. It'll bring up the link, click on it, go to their homepage. Once you're on their website, enter part number 121G into the search box and hit enter. You'll thank me later. Okay? I'm going to leave this up for a couple of seconds here so you can pause the video, go do this, and then come back and finish watching the video. Alright, you're back now? How did you like that? I thought that was a pretty cool Easter egg hidden by O'Reilly's. I just thought of something I'm going to do the next time I go to O'Reilly's. And you guys might think about doing it too. When you go up to the counter and ask what they can help you with, tell them you have a part number and you want to see if they got it in stock or if they can order it. And then give them that number, 121G. It would make us even more hilarious if it actually comes up on their own computers. The first man in history to ever hear Eddie Van Halen. One point if your school had a smoking area too. We had self-driving technology back in the 80s. Say hello to Christine. Why did these seem to be the speakers that everyone had for their computer? This picture is of the 50th anniversary of CBS TV in 1978. Some people are saying if you can ID five of them, then you're old. One point for each one that you know. What's the first song you're playing on these speakers? Millennials and boomers going at it again. Gen X be like, Whatever. When I was a kid, when my mom would use the blender, it would ruin the picture on the TV screen. Don't ask me the science behind it, because there is none. What is the first movie that comes to mind when you see Eddie Murphy? Well, we got a lot of movies, including the one earlier, but Beverly Hills Cop is a good one. Now this movie came out in 64, 
so technically the year before Gen X, but I just had to throw this in the video. Mary Poppins gets a new UK film rating over discriminatory language. A derogatory term has earned the Disney film a slightly harsh rebuke from the UK Film Ratings Board. Do you know what term that you're talking about? Mary Poppins 64 has long been celebrated as one of the best children's films of all time. But according to the British Board of Film Classification, some additional parental guidance is now suggested. The cause? The film's use of the word Hottentots. Who remembers McDonald Land cookies? They were kind of like animal crackers. My high school was weird because it looked like the Millennium Falcon. Just think of the architect that was paid to design all of this, literally laughing all the way to the bank about how he trolled the school and the entire community. Stop scrolling around and comment your top five favorite superheroes. I guess I'd have to say Iron Man, Wolverine, and Venom. Yeah, I know that's only three. You guys can drop your top five in the comments. That is a really nice Mustang. I've always loved that design. My favorite was a 67 or 68. The real ones remember. One point if you know the name of this show. A church built a massive baby Jesus statue that looks exactly like Phil Collins. I don't know why in the world they would make something like this in the first place. I mean, it literally is a graven image, but it does look exactly like Phil Collins. Growing up with siblings. I don't even have to explain what's going on here. Any of you ever had a remote for a TV or VCR or whatever that the signal wasn't strong enough from wherever your couch was sitting? You had to stand up and walk halfway across the room before it worked? I actually remember getting this thing called a remote extender from Radio Shack. Basically, it had a receiver that you would set somewhere closer to you, and it would pick up the signals from your remote control, and it had a wire that would go up near your device that you were trying to control, and on that end, it had a transmitter to be able to relay that signal to your device. It actually worked pretty well. I don't even know where that memory came from after all these years. Ric Flair is 75 today. When they finally make memes with material from your generation. I saw this in an advertisement the other day and just had to throw it in here. There was a lot of cars that had wood paneling down the sides back in the day, but never saw one quite like this. Someone should reimagine what the 1980s cars would look like if they had the custom car wraps like they do today. The Super Bowl halftime show that we all really wanted. I didn't watch the Super Bowl, like I said in the past video. I'm going to pay for a subscription just to see it. With that said, if this would have been the halftime show, I guarantee you I'd have been on YouTube to see it as soon as it got posted. Click on one of the videos above to help support the channel. Please hit that like button and subscribe. I thank you all for watching. This is Acorn, over and out.